back to Rigby the Squeak Heart. I'm so glad to see you today, and we are going to be talking about hamster cages. We will also be looking at some cages that you should not get for your hamster, as well as cheap ways to provide your hamster with space as well as enrichment. Hamsters may be small animals, but they require a lot of space. Some people keep hamsters in small cages because I guess they think that since the hamster is small, it deserves to live in a small enclosure. But a hamster, unlike a dog or a cat, cannot freely roam the house. The hamster relies on his or her owner to provide the hamster with plenty of space to run and play. How would you feel if you had to be stuck in a tiny bedroom with nothing to do for the rest of your life? You would be pretty miserable. So imagine how your pet feels. A hamster requires a bare minimum of 360 square inches of floor space. That is the bare minimum. For hamster cages, the bigger, the better. So let's look at some bad hamster cages that are way too small and stressful for your hamster. All of these cages are way too small and stressful for your hamster. They do not meet or come close to the 360 square inches minimum. It's time to find out right now if your hamster cage is big enough. Grab a calculator and a tape measure and let's go do it. Okay, so I have my tape measure and we are going to measure the inside of Rigby's cage and see if it's big enough. All right, it's time to measure. So first I'm going to measure the length. Let's see. So the length is 28 inches. And the width is 18 and a half inches. So that means Rigby's cage has about 527 inches of floor space. So you measured your cage. Is it smaller than 360 square inches of floor space? So a hamster cage does not have to cost hundreds of dollars to be the right size. For example, a bin cage. A bin cage costs maybe $30 at most for a very large size. So this is Rigby's bin cage. It is a 105 quart bin. And Yes, I do have toys and stuff in there, but I just took them out. Let's see, he has platforms for this demonstration. So I made this for less than $20, probably closer to $15. So you can use a Dremel or a box cutter. A Dremel is much easier. And you cut a hole in the lid, see? And put wire mesh, I used hardware cloth, you put that on top. And you can use duct tape or zip ties to put it on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And remember, if your hamster has too small of a cage right now, just upgrade to a bigger one. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so people like you can see this video more often. <laughs>